Now the two manifold is off, the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold. And now we can get a better view of the cylinder head face. Now we can get a better view of the head. And this is our dirty check where we haven't even wiped the face of the head. And what we can see is the same thing coming up from the you can see that this valve is oily around this area. So I know that valve seal is no good. Same thing in here. And even this one on the exhaust you can see it a little bit oily around the valve too. So this engine definitely burning oil and it burning oil from the cylinder piston rings and it also burning oil from the valve seals. The surface of the head, the face, so far we can see a little blue by here. We can see some more blue by right here. But this, the cylinder, the metal ring in the cylinder head, you can see where it's still seat sealing pretty good, especially close up. It's still sealing pretty good, especially close up to the water, water jackets. You can see there's no rust there where the metal eating away in, in any great number. Same thing over here. So, so far we can see it have a blue head gasket. Possibly the engine overheat. But we'll need to clean the head up and give it a surface check. Now I'm going to remove the valve train by taking out the rocker arm, the rocker shaft, the camshaft. This head is not so easy like you know some of the Japanese head or European head. This you know the, the, the rocker shaft actually go through the head itself and go all the way down to the back, both sides. And sometimes it can be a little tricky, plus it also has some clip that hold the, the, the rocker arm springs in place. We've got to take out all those clips and not going to easy, but let's give it a try. I'm just turning the adjuster, just BMW day of the special adjuster different. It's almost with design like a roller rocker. So now, see that, I want that free play in the valve. From, I'm just taking out the clips from the rocker shaft. And these are some retaining, reti retaining clips that keep the rocker arm in position so they don't come back too far. But in order for me to do that, I need to have the rocker on the closed section of the cam. There is the, the clip. 
clip there. There's not many engine that carry this clip on the rocker shaft. And you can see how far the rocker go back now. Actually touching up on the head. So it definitely couldn't work without that clip. It's supposed to be that position. When the clip removed, that's how far back it go. And if you notice, it's not centered in the cam lobe anymore. It's here and the cam lobe center is here. Now I'm just taking out the intake rocker shaft. That's the rocker shaft for the intake. So now I'm going to mark. I'm going to mark each one of these rocker arms so that they can go back to the exact position. This shaft, I'm going to clean it up and check it, make sure it's not worn in this area where the rocker shaft rotate. And if it's not worn or it's within tolerance, we'll use it back. If not, we get a new one. So the important is that this shaft has to go back with this side of the rocker. And each rocker has to go back in an exact position. Other than that, it will make a lot of noise, like something break inside the engine. Don't matter how you adjust valves you will hear a loud noise from the valves if you should mix these rocker, rocker harm and don't put them back in the exact position. If we're using new rocker arm and new rocker shaft, it don't really matter. You can just, you know, toss them away because the new one is going to all be in the same measurement. So you won't run into any problem with them making noise. But keep in mind we're rebuilding this engine on a budget. So we check in for anything that's within tolerance. And we'll use it. As long as it's within tolerance, tolerance and in good condition. And so far this rocker shaft look pretty decent. Even though we haven't cleaned it up yet. But it don't have any scar our sign of where it run out of oil and have any damage. The, the valve springs has been removed and now I'm just taking out the valve clip and the retainers and so on. And if you notice I'm putting them in the container right here. Because all this stuff we don't want they lost or get mixed up with the other rest of parts. So now the, the, all the valve clips and springs has been removed and I'm going to take out all the valves, intake and exhaust. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and recommend it to a friend. And if you're in the neighborhood, Feel free to stop by and have a conversation or if you just want to send us your question or comment, we will show a reply in our next video. Thanks again for watching.